Good morning. Um, we're going to be talking about student-led conferences uh, today, and, and uh, you know, anyway, we're going to ask a couple questions here back and forth, and um, so if you've done student-led conferences in the past, uh, so you can draw on some of your own experiences from last year. If uh, you've never done student-led conferences, um, you know, you, there might be some takeaways and, uh, that you can have from our conversation uh, here today. So, um, got a couple of uh, young young uh, seventh graders with me here today. Uh, what kinds of things with student-led conferences last year did you guys like the best? I like that we got to talk to our parents and that we got to see them be excited for us and that they were willing to listen to us and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I like that we got to be there and like we could see what our parents were being shown. Okay. Uh, you know, when, when you prepared for the student-led conferences, what kinds of things did you put in your portfolio? Uh, what types of things um, made you feel really good about your preparation? I put in tests and projects that I got good grades on, and just everything that I got good grades on, like A's, pluses, and stuff like that, I put in my portfolio. Okay. Yeah, I pretty much did the same thing, um, but I put a few bad grades in there to tell them what I was struggling with. Okay, and, and it's probably good to have both in there too because uh, sometimes it's it's nice to show uh, the things that you're being successful um, with, but at the same time just to kind of show some of the things that uh, maybe you need to work on as well. What kind of questions did you have for me? Uh, why did you want to do a student-led conference and not just a parent-teacher conference? Well, the, the parent-teacher conferences are, are a little bit uh, different. You know, it's uh, mostly centered around the parent and the, and the teacher and uh, the kids on the sideline. Uh, with the student-led conference, it's more student-centered. Uh, the student is the uh, main player in the conference, and it's almost like they're the star of the show, and uh, they can kind of, uh, you know, you can almost call it a showcase. You know, they can mm -hmm. showcase what they, they've done. Uh, you know, and, and sometimes when a student is struggling, um, you know, it's, it's a good, safe environment for the, the student to be able to talk to their parent about, you know, uh, you know, these are some things that kind of uh, worry me right now. These are some, some kinds of things that I'm struggling with. And it gives them an opportunity to really focus down on some of those, um, those key subject areas. All right. Um, what are the benefits of the student land conference? Well, uh, you know, one of the things I think is, is ownership. Um, when the, there's a conference going on and, and the person, uh, the person that, that it's about should be there. And so anyway, I think it's, it's a great thing that the students are, are uh, showcasing uh, their, their skills, uh, showcasing their work, and uh, it's almost kind of like a little bit of a job interview, you know. The, uh, uh, you know I think there's a little bit of nervousness in, in the student at first, but, uh, but I think once it gets going, uh, I think the, the student's confidence kind of grows in what, they're, what they can really do. Uh, did you guys feel a little nervous with the student-led conference yeah. last year? Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and did it turn out okay? Yeah, so, yeah tell it was me. Fine. Yeah, uh, can you kind of talk about that a little bit? Well, when I got there, or I walked with my parents in, into my team success room, and I was a little nervous because I was one of the only people in there that was part of that team success. Mm -hmm. But then when I started taking out my papers from my portfolio that we had, I realized that it was going to be fine, that it was easy to talk about. Sure. And it really wasn't a, a whole lot of a pressure once it goes on. But at the same time, yeah. it's almost like you're kind yeah. of in the hot seat, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what did you... Uh, um, I just kind of read all my assignments off and didn't really think about it. And uh, I just didn't really think about it, and it helped me a lot. Yeah, sometimes just uh, uh, having the script, too, it's also a nice thing that you can kind of uh, read off uh, some of those things until you kind of get comfortable. So, uh, that's it for right now, and, and uh, good luck in preparing your student-led conference portfolio. Okay, so like we are talking about student-led conferences, and I'm just curious, like, what was your favorite part of the whole getting ready for student-led conferences and the whole process? Uh, probably talk, finally talking to my, my parents and getting it done. And, it just help me. Why was that your favorite? Because you could kind of rely on it like it's in the past and you're done with it and you don't have to stress over it anymore. I don't know. What was your absolute least favorite part of the whole thing? Probably deciding what to show in it. Why was that your least favorite? Because you have so many things you could put in it.
just finding the perfect thing to do. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. Welcome.